Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Cal, coming in with a hot one, another one. You already know I'm about to put y'all on to this brand new game that came out today in the beta mode. It's called The First Descender. I highly suggest y'all play. Y'all sign up right now. You know, it's, a, it's running for a couple of days. I forgot the exact amount. Cause, yo, I'm into this game. It's super lit. You know what I mean? I'm about to put y'all on to some little tips and tricks that, you know, I think you should follow so you can progress fast through this game. Because this game is fun. But if you do a couple of mistakes, you're going to feel weak. And the game is pretty easy once you do all these things properly. I'm not even going to front. Like, I did a whole bunch of things in the game because I was, like I said, I was so into it. I didn't even realize I was committing a bunch of mistakes. So I'm here, big cow, subscribe. I'm about to put y'all on to not make this mistake so you could run through this game properly and fast. So here's the first one. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to rank up your mastery rank. You're going to go to that place called Albion. It's in the first section before Kingston. You know what I'm saying? And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to run forward, as you can see right here in the footage. Um, you go ignore the quest. Don't mind that quest that I'm trying to do. You're probably going to be either before or after this quest. You know what I'm saying? Because I made this mistake. I couldn't find out how to rank up. But this is how you do it. You make a forward, then you make a left, and you go into this room. Talk to the prime hands, which will be this little console right there in the room. You hit the section that say mastery rank up so you can rank up. This is going to help you, like, massively. You know what I'm saying? Because this is going to um open up your... um. Give you extra inventory capacity, module capacity, and you know what I'm saying? It's going to, like, help you have more items and everything. Because this game, you'll just be picking up items left, right, and center. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you're going to need. I'm going to put you on, you know what I'm saying? So you can learn better. Because, trust me, I made a whole bunch of mistakes while I was playing this game in the first through. So I dropped this video real quick and said, let me put these guys on real quick so they don't make this mistake and they can run around OP while they playing this game. You know what I'm saying? So here you go. I'm ranking up right here. It's going to show you a little animation. And boom. You don't really gain, like, powers. I don't know. I, I didn't see the benefits that you get later on because I didn't look at it. But I know you get a, a couple of benefits, and all I seen this was like inventory stash, which you're gonna need, trust me, and stuff like that. But maybe later on in the game, they'll add more stuff. But yeah, that's how you um level up your mastery rank in the game. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is your weapons, man. You gotta keep up with these things because if you don't, as you saw in a couple of my footage, I was a little weak. So what you do is you always check the weapons. This is gonna always be the same type. It'll change the name here and there in different like types, but let's say it's an assault rifle. It'll be like a certain name and you'll see a higher, more powerful version, you pick it. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you do. You go through your categories, you check your shotguns, you look for the most powerful one, you equip it, and you keep doing that. You know what I'm saying? You might run into different weapon names. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, a Famaz or M16, that type. And what you do, once you get the most powerful ones, you know, you deconstruct all of them and you get them materials because you, you ain't trying to keep all these weapons because they're the weapons, I mean, because they're the space, inventory space. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to save up on this inventory space. Then what you want to do once you're done with your weapon, you're going to press triangle because I'm on PlayStation and you want to put on all these modules on, you know what I'm saying? On your weapons. These will make your weapons stronger. They'll make your weapons shoot faster. They'll give elemental damage to your weapon like electricity and fire. You know what I'm saying? You go through each one of your weapons because as you play, you'll gain one. Then you go through your accessories, you know what I'm saying? I went the frozen route because, you know, I did chill i'm running the lisa she does chill damage ice damage and you know like i said before once you go through all your accessories like your weapon you deconstruct all of them you're gonna need these materials later on for crafting you know what i'm saying and upgrade them but like i said leave a like and subscribe if you like the type of um, content i just left on this game the first descendant i'm gonna keep dropping content on this and like I said, man, it's your boy Cal.